more CNAs lead to better outcomes. Um, if you want to know what a good nursing home is, a, a, a well-functioning nursing home, it's one with lots of uh, CNAs who don't turn over. Job burnout happens because professional CNAs see no measurable outcomes. No way to tell if they're doing a good job or a bad job. CNAs are a facility's best customer representatives. The care they provide day after day, year after year. It's what a facility's reputation is built on. I think that that really goes uh, understated uh, too often in our industry in that CNAs, they are the relationship with the residents. And that when residents are impacted by COVID-19, the, the CNAs who work most closely with them are emotionally impacted. They want you to see the desire to provide excellent care to our most fragile population. What they don't want you to see is the three initials that are behind their name that immediately cause you to think that's task-oriented talent. The biggest question I get is why have you stayed at the same place all these years? It's simple. My administration invested in me, valued me, and considered me part of the team. If, if we pay them well, if, if we, we invest in, in, in a stronger workforce, that's going to lead to better outcomes. I may not work in that building, but they are a part of my team, and I will work with anybody to show them the importance of who we are, because I will never let nobody tell me anything different. CNAs are an investment. As I've been reflecting, as I'm sure a lot of us have, on um, social justice issues and all the civil unrest that our country has been through, I can't help but see really the parallels and the ability to leverage the issues that we have to help improve the lives of CNAs. CNAs have one of the toughest mental and physical jobs in the nursing home. We struggle when we are short-staffed, we struggle on a time crunch, and we struggle to answer five call lights on at once. We do not get paid enough for what we do, and now that COVID-19 has hit, we are frontline workers not making hazard pay like other workers. Nursing home caregiver uh, is, is the most dangerous job in America. 200 fatalities per 100,000 workers. Look at their courage they have shown through this pandemic. It's been a 25-year journey to develop a place for CNAs to learn and grow as professionals, to have their voices heard and to be understood. NACA has made me want to help CNAs know their profession and how to conduct themselves as professionals. Mentoring is important to me and a role I take very seriously. I may not change the world and I may not change a whole lot of things, but I am proud to be a CNA.